<clears throat> Morning, guys. Hey, uh, just a quick one here. Um, regarding comments, I really pride myself on getting back to as many people as possible. I think I do a pretty good job. Um, I, I, I pride myself on that. It, it, it's important to me to get back to you guys, but I really struggle sometimes with, um, I, I don't know how the messaging system works sometimes. Like, you know, when you upload a video and then you, you kind of get comments and you kind of take care of it right away. But three months ago, listen, I just want to do this. It, it may seem silly to some people, but it's not to me. It's super important actually. Okay. Kobe Harmon, I think. Scott Dennison. I think it's Mars County. Golden Bunny. I like that. Matt Arquette. And Guy McCluey, maybe? McCluey? Anyways, Guy, you bought a bar grinder and, uh, and a squeezer. You know what? Those are the comments that I so enjoy. I love watching guys get into their tools. Uh, I'm sorry that I, I missed that comment. This is not a conscious decision on my part to not answer those comments. I don't know what happens. Maybe you see the video later or something and then I, I, I'm not sure. But all I know is I'm just apologizing for not getting back to those comments. I What I do sometimes is I go back like months and I'll review and see what comes up. So just a quick one, guys. It's real important uh, that, that, that uh, so again, Kobe, Scott, uh, Mars County, uh, Golden Bunny, Matt Arquette, I believe, and Guy or Guy McHugh Louis. <laughs> I think that's it. So guy let me know how the bar grinding's going i want to know so uh again fellas uh awesome thanks so much for your support enjoy this next video okay and we'll talk to you guys soon That's way too wobbly, isn't it? We can't have you doing that. No. Let's get you. That works. Done that. Hey. Oh yeah, that works all right. Oh. Ah. How's everybody? I haven't talked to you guys for, I mean, I do those little rants in the truck. They're not really rants, they're more just kind of thanking you guys. Can you see what's going on there? There were some folks asking me why I don't grind for residential tree work. It's quite simple. If you hit a piece of steel or a nail, not if, when you do, you just crack it back together with a hand file and you're off to the races. Skip tooth. But for falling, I use full house grind. It's just too much. And you're gonna hit steel. So, well, one fella asked, well, wouldn't, isn't it just be quicker to grind, what do you mean grind a bunch of chains and take, take a bunch of chains to, to the resi job with me? Is that what, you, I'm being serious, I'm not, is that what you meant? Like, like bring a bunch of ground chain to a resi job and just start whacking steel with them? I'm not sure if that's what you meant. I'd rather do that with a hand file skip tooth. That's, that's the whole idea of that. Because I can go all day. I'd go all day in the bush with a ground chain. All day. Come home, give it a quick little zap, bring the edge back up, and you're off to the races. You know what I'm saying? So that's the idea of, of not grinding for residential tree work. Yeah, and uh, I've been doing a, I've been branching out. I've only just begun, guys and gals, women and children. 
I've only just begun. I, I so appreciate the, the, the positive feedback I've been getting. It just warms the cockles of my heart. I'll tell you that right now. And there's a mitt full of guys that are commenting on my videos all the time. And you guys do videos too. You're kind of like me. Just throw them out there, which is cool. Don't stop. So different, it's so cool. I love it. I just love it. It's a neat community, isn't it? Hey? Eh? Awesome. Sharing ideas. And... You know, I, I call it a bowl of soup. Everybody's got a stew. You know, a big stew, and they're just they're they're they're, they're, stir, they're stirring up their stew, you know. I take a little from this guy, throw it in the stew, Just give it a stir. Take a little from that guy. Stir, you know what I mean? Everybody's got to share their stew. You know, that's how it works. I'm not one, uh, I'm not a real how-to guy. I don't get into the how-to. This is how you do this or how you do that because you can do things so many different ways. I'm just not into it. I'm not into the flat. How do you, this is how you do this. Well, you can do it this way too. Well, of course you can. Of course you can, man. You can do it anyway. This is just the way I do it. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, I just, I don't really, I don't get into that. What I do get into though, is when I'm out in the field or out in the bush. And I think, there, oh, why am I yelling? I'm used to having machinery going. Um, if, 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 uh, Look at this, guys. Look at this. You know, if I'm doing something that maybe I think that might be able to help you guys out or help somebody out, I just, uh, I say, hey, check it out. You know what I mean? Oh, look at that. I hope you can see that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Man, that's sharp. That, that, that's so beautiful. Okay. Anyhow, that, that's kind of my whole thing on the to-dos do to -dos or whatever. I gotta switch this camera around now for more BS and balderdash. You guys think you can handle that? This comes over here now. Does that work? Okay. That should be all right, eh? I like working when I'm talking. Whoopsie daisy. This thing's making some racket. Ooh. And I, I know that I do more than one video every week or whatever, I know. I know I do. It's just kind of how I roll. So I, I hope that I've said it before. I think when you're starting something up, it's good to work hard. Hey, you guys know what I'm saying? Get out there. Get out there. You gotta put a little. I was down at the uh, at the power saw shop again today, and uh, I I picked up a couple of axe handles. I make my own axe handles now, but there's a couple of uh, uh, axe. Uh, well, there's an axe company out there called um, Halts and Brooks. You know the one, H and B. Out to four. They make an axe handle. Uh, incredible. Wow. They're, they're, I found two handles today. I'm going to show you them right now. They're going to blow your mind. Hang on two seconds. It's one thing. I'm just going to hang out in here, okay? I'm gonna turn this off. Now listen. One. No, oh, that's probably a great, great face. Isn't it? There. How's that? Good. Now, it's one thing to have an axe handle that is uh, 
it's just beautiful to start with. Now, halt of force, okay? This is interesting. I want you guys, oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay, you, obviously you can see that. It's straight up and down, but that's not what I'm talking about. Look at the, how tight the grain is. Do you know what I mean? It's tight. It's about an inch across. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. There's 30 rings across the handle. 30 across there in that one inch. Okay? That's a ton. That, that's a, that's a, that is a skookum, skookum. And look at the end. Look at. You, you, you can't. Now here's another one, and it's lighter. It, it's it's like, oh, and again. Look look at this. Look at how the look at. I know I'm excited, but look, I'll show you this. Now just watch as I contour up. Okay, see the grain? Just a little, not not exactly dead straight, but a little off. But but check it out. Watch this. Watch it how it comes up and rolls over here. Watch. Watch the grain closely. I'm trying to do this as best I can. Look at guys and gals, women and children. Look at that. It goes right up the handle. These, ha you, you can't, this handle, see how it's a little bit different color, guys, gals, women and children? See? Halt of force, okay? They make a fa freaking nominal handle. Phenomenal. Like, I'm, I'm making handles now, but but for $22.50, it says $25, but I got them for $22.50. Not that it matters, but it does. Um incredible now these handles come on the arvika axes okay they come on the arvika so if you can get a hold I, i'm a straight handled guy i run a straight handled axe when i'm falling but these handles captivate me they just i i can't not buy them they're, they're so when i see a really really good one i just i buy it because i know like i know all these are incredible it's beautiful this one's lighter than this one i think this one's wet or something or uh Oh, treat yourself to one of these handles. I, I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. You could even re redo it. Um, it's it's too big. Um, it's too big for my little fallen axes. Believe it or not, it's for an Arvika head. They're designed. I did a video on it, okay, and it it it, it fit the Arvika head to a T. It's designed for the Arvika head, okay. Halts and Brooks, beautiful handle. I had to get that off my chest. I just got this today. Oh, beautiful. Over and out, skis. Be kind.